Well, hello everybody. Gary Sill from Sill Music Supply again. Want to discuss something we probably overlook when we play backup to a singer. We're used to, I'll just do it here in the key of C just for the heck of it. If you're playing a C, F, and a G chord, what would you normally do? Well, when the singer's singing, you would maybe slide from the seventh to the eighth fret. Makes a nice, pretty Hawaiian sound, or it's a nice sound for backing up a singer. Then we do the same with the F and the G. And it sounds real good, but you know, we're leaving out the other half of the story. Did you know that? The other half of the story is we forget. We can not only go up with the bar, we can go down with the bar. So if we want to compliment the singer and the song, we would just go something like this. Use a little vibrato and you end up on a C. Just slide from 10 to 8. Or do that, anything. You can even do 10. Slide up to 8 from 7. Just a variation that you can apply to the same old principle of just sliding up, you slide down. and you end up where you should be. That's the key. You need to end up on the C, the F, or the G, and then you feel very good, and so does the audience, because they're happy that you ended up where you're supposed to be, not where you're not supposed to be. So it's just something you can use different notes. You could just do the third and the fifth string. You could use the fourth and sixth string. Instead of doing up, you use down. But like everything, you use it every once in a while. You add a little variety to your music and you sometimes go up, you sometimes go down, and that variety makes for attention from the audience because they don't know what you're going to do and you're going to surprise them. So try that and the next time you play and see if it doesn't add a little bit uh, something new and a little different taste to your music. Thank you and hope you use this.